Okay, so what a massive week of confirmed transfers, all right? I did a transfer video midweek actually announcing Lacazette to Arsenal. That's right. That's pretty big. Now, I actually announced that before Arsenal announced that, okay? So, obviously, you know, a bit of information was going on. He was having his medical. There was no way he was going to fail that. So, we announced that midweek. If you want to go watch that video, there'll be a link up here or link up there somewhere. There'll be a card up there somewhere you can go and watch it. But today, we have six, no, that's five, six new players today that have transferred since that video for the weekend, okay? It's pretty big. It's awesome. I'm in Barcelona, right? Now, this is, I've pre-recorded this, but whilst I'm making this, I know of loads more players, okay, that have already transferred. So if you want to see another transfer video, let's say in the next two days, drop a like and a thumbs up down below. 4,000 likes as always, guys, be massively appreciated. Also, guys, I'm getting very, very close to three quarters million subscribers. So if you want to subscribe to me down below, obviously for the transfer series or whatever you want to subscribe for, free of charge, I'd obviously massively appreciate it. Check out Get Grabs Money Custom Controllers, there'll be a link up there in the top right left right corner. Ross to get you 5% off over there. But anyway, it's time to get into the first player. I'm buzzing about this. Now, we actually have Chano Logu. Have I pronounced that right or wrong? I don't know, but FIFA guys will know about this guy. He's like one of the best free kick takers, I believe, in Europe. So he's a massive, massive talent. Now, we know AC Milan are making loads and loads of signings so far. They're making big signings here. They've already signed loads of different players. Which I've, I've featured all of them in previous transfer windows. So you want to go through and watch a lot of them, you can. But they've now made a new one this week. Okay, they signed Chano Logu. Chano Loglu. I don't know. I really should. I'm just going to call him Hacken, which is his first name, all right? Is that okay? Hacken? Is that okay? So they've signed him from Bayern, Leverkusen, of course, the Turkish midfielder has moved. Now, apparently this guy served a four-month FIFA ban earlier this year for a breach of contract. Had agreed personal terms in Milan last week and arrived on Sunday to complete his medical and the club's negotiated a fee. Now, reports said that the initial transfer fee would be around 20 million euros rising to 24 with add-ons. Now, he actually came out and said, I want to thank you for making this transfer happen and trusting in me. I want to give a lot back. The last four months have been hard for me, but I'm very happy to be here in Milan. I want to give my best performance for the club and for the fans and for the team. Thank you for everything, for giving me the chance to play at the San Siro. I want to give my best. So if you guys aren't aware, AC Milan, they've got new Chinese owners. They're splashing a lot of cash, playing players, a lot of money now. So no wonder it's quite appealing to new players. Now, I believe this is actually, okay, sixth signing AC Milan have made, all right, in the summer, okay? Following the sale of the club to Chinese investors in April. So Chinese investors have come in and they've spent a lot of money. They've invested a lot of money in AC Milan. Then now they've got a new midfielder, a huge Turkish talent, big, big free kick taker. It's a huge first signing. It's massive. Especially FIFA guys, it's big. Now next up, we've got another club that's actually in the Premier League and they're making loads of signings, okay? Now they've made a new one, Sandro Ramirez to Everton. Now well, I don't really know this guy too much. I don't know the information on this guy, like is he a good player or not? So if you know a lot about him, let me know. I'll let everyone know in the comments. Now if you guys are unaware, obviously they signed Michael Keane, obviously a few days ago, which I featured in the last episode, the last transfer episode, which is obviously a pretty big signing, 30 million pounds. But on the same day, they actually completed the signing of Sandro Ramirez from Malaga, okay? Obviously this guy is obviously, he's been playing in Spain for a while. Now, I believe, like, Everton have already spent, like, something like 90 million pounds already as transfer window, which is pretty big, you know, for them as well. That's, like, quite a big investment. That's a lot of spending for them. Now, this is what Ronald Koeman actually come out and said on Sandro, because I'm interested in this, so I think you guys are going to be too if you don't know a lot about him. There was a lot of interest in Sandro because, of course, he's a goal scorer. He's young and he's a big future in the game. We've been trying to bring in good players so we can have greater productivity in the team, and he will bring that. He will bring a lot of good qualities, and he's a really good goal scorer too. So, obviously, is this Everton, like, preparing? to lose Lukaku? Is this like a replacement for him? Who knows? Who knows what the future holds for Lukaku and Ross Barkley as well? Obviously, they've signed a lot of midfielders, Everton and stuff, so are they getting ready to replace Barkley and getting ready to replace Lukaku? If they are, then they've made some good signings, to be fair, but whether they're going to replace them or not, I mean, only the season's going to tell. Now, another team in the Premier League has made a big sign, and this is obviously the old Premier League holders, Leicester. They've actually signed Ibora, Ibora from Seville. Now, this is a bit of a shocking one. I was a bit surprised when I seen this, to be fair, but anyway, Leicester have agreed a deal to sign midfield Vincente Ibora from Seville, according to the Spanish club. Now, Seville actually did add that the move was subject to medical and personal terms have been agreed. The fee's been agreed. He's agreed to go. So, yeah, this transfer looks like this is absolutely set in stone. Ibora coming to the Premier League. This guy has won, like, loads of Europa titles for Seville. Now, apparently, he actually played against Leicester in both legs of the Champions League last season when the Foxes knocked out the league, La Liga side in the last 16 ties. So, obviously, the manager at Leicester's had a look at him and played against him twice and thought, actually, we want a guy like this in our team. So, they've signed him. This guy's a big, tall lad as well. Ibora's a big lad. Now, reports in Spain said that the fee is likely to be around the region of 12 million euros, so around 10.5 million pounds, so not a huge, huge money. But this guy is 29 years of age, so, you know, he's no spring chicken. Now, the club has allowed him to leave after they signed Benega from Inter Milan. They actually re-signed Benega from Inter Milan, so that's another one. I could feature on this episode, but I'm not gonna. So, Leicester fans, what do you think about this move? Obviously, you've been missing, like, a really good defensive midfielder fielder since Kante. Now, he's not gonna replace Kante. He's, like, completely different. Completely different build as well. This guy's 
massive. But it could be what you're looking for. Could be pretty ideal. So good luck to him at Leicester. Good luck to him in the Premier League. Hopefully, hopefully he does well. Next up, we have another player that has moved to the Premier League. Well, sort of moved to the Premier League, okay? But he's actually going to Swansea. It's Tammy Abraham, okay? Now, he signed a new deal at Chelsea, a new five-year contract, and he's gone on loan to Swansea. Chelsea striker Tammy Abraham has signed a new five-year contract at Stamford Bridge and joined Swansea City on a season-long loan deal. Now, a 19-year-old will link up with Swans boss Paul Clement, okay, who actually worked as a Blues coach from 2007 to 2011. So, a bit of history there. Now, Abraham actually scored 26 goals in 48 games on loan at championship side Bristol City last season. So, he, he was pretty good for Bristol last year. He was pretty good. He did, he did bits, to be fair. Now, he also netted once of the four games that England's under-21s, okay, when they won't reach, a, you know, under-21 European championships or whatever. Now, this has come as Lorente, I believe, is going to miss the start of the season because he's broke his arm in a motorcycle or bike accident or something. Is that right? Have I got that right? So, yeah, they've had to make another striker signing because, obviously, if this guy's going to miss the start of the season, Lorente's like the main boy as well. He's where the goal's coming, but now they've got Tammy Abraham. Paul Clement knows him. They've worked with him before. There's, there's good potential there. There really, really is. Wow, we're going in with another Premier League signing. Okay, this might as well be the Premier League episode, alright, because we've got another player that's now come to the Premier League. He's been there before, but now this team's come up, and he's gone to a new team. Huddersfield has signed Tom Ince. That's right. Now, we all know who Ince's father is, okay? He's pretty famous from that as well. But anyway, he signed a three-year deal with Huddersfield, okay, from Derby. Now, we get to see this guy in the Premier League once again. He's been in the Premier League before. It didn't quite work out the plan. Now, Sky Sports news understand the deal for the 25 year old winger could be worth around 10 million pounds and the club have the option of extending his contract for a further season. Ince, son of former Manchester United and Liverpool midfielder Paul joined Derby for 4.75 million in 2015. He scored 27 goals in 97 appearances for the Rams. Now actually Huddersfield are looking like they're going to sign obviously who was it? Danny Williams from Reading as well. I actually went to the playoff final between the two teams and to be fair Danny Williams is probably the best player for Reading in that game. He did, he did pretty well for him but it wasn't a great football match though. Like sort of neither team deserved to win it. But anyway, he looks like, it's Danny, for Danny Williams, it looks like if you can't beat him, join him. So he's joining the rivals who actually did go up. You sort of can't knock him though because, you know, he's not going to turn down the chance to play Premier League football, is he? But anyway, I'm not talking about this guy. I don't even know why I've gotten on about Danny Williams. I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about Paul Ince. We're going to see this guy in the Premier League once again. Hopefully he can perform again. Now this news is like five hours ago, okay? This is brand new fresh news. Another player comes to the Premier League, but we got a big one this time. Like really, really big. Antonio Rudiger from Roma to Chelsea. Now a deal has been agreed, okay? This is Sky Sports News Fresh. Chelsea and Roma have agreed a deal for central defender Antonio Rudiger. Sky sources understand. Now, Rudiger actually helped Germany win the Confederations Cup in Russia earlier this month, and he's thought that the player will take a medical in LA this week, which is pretty random, with a transfer figure potentially rising to £34 million. So, it's not cheap. It's a big money, but this guy's a big talent, big German defender. 24-year-old moved to Rome from Stuttgart initially on a season-long loan deal in August 2015 before making the move permanent. Now, obviously, Chelsea are very keen on defensive reinforcements. They've lost John Terry, which featured in the last episode of Transfers. They've lost Nathan Ake, which is another one that featured in the last transfer episode. No, I think one before that, actually. But yeah, they've lost lots of transfers. They've lost so many by well, defenders, defenders. And this like this guy looks like a brilliant replacement. So well played to Chelsea. Well played to all the signings in this video because there's been a few biggies. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like and a thumbs up down below. Let's get 4,000 likes for another transfer video in a few days. That'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. Now, what I'm going to do is run through the transfers very quickly and give my last final opinions, okay? Let's see what goes on. Now, we actually have Tano... I'm going to call him Hacken, okay? Whatever. But anyway, AC Milan making loads of transfers this transfer window. It's a big, big transfer for them. It's a big statement. They really are going for it again this year, which is good because they were the, like, top of team in Europe, one of the top teams. So we want to see them one of the top teams once again in Europe. So hopefully Hacken can be a big part of that. Then we have Sandro Ramirez. I don't know enough about this guy to really give a really solid, valid opinion. But what I do know is they're potentially getting used to the life without Lukaku. So we've seen maybe a bit of a replacement 10 million pounds. It's really cheap, but this guy's young, scores goals. He can only, I think he's going to be good, but we'll have to wait and see. I, I'm, it's, it's like pointless opinion, really. I bore her to Leicester. Now, I have to stand up a little bit because my uh, it's been a hot day. My legs are a bit sticky on this chair. But anyway, I bore her to Leicester. Now, this is a big one, okay? They need a defensive midfielder. They've been missing him since Kante, really. Hopefully, he can do bits. He's not going to do the exact same as Kante. He's completely different. Good, different builds completely. But I think, you know, this guy's pretty experienced. He's done bits for Seville. It's a good one for the Premier League. Tammy Abraham did very well at uh, Bristol last year. He's worked with Paul Clement before. Lorente's now broken his 
his arm, so obviously he needs replacing. I'm, I think this would be good. Tomins, Huddersfield, didn't quite work out for Tomins in the previous time he was in the Premier League, and hopefully, hopefully he can make it happen once again. If he can, then obviously Huddersfield have got himself a good player there. Last but not least, we've got Rudiger to Chelsea. They have lost so many defenders previously. I mean, John Terry, Nathan Ake, they've lost so many and need replacing. He looks like the guy to replace him. 30 odd million pounds. Obviously, he won the Confederations Cup with Germany last week. He's done bits. He's got medical in LA next week. It's a big, big signing. Big statement. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like and a thumbs up down below. Greatly, greatly appreciated. I'm out. Hopefully you enjoyed this weekend. Take it easy. Peace.